In the world of maths, there's tons and tons of formulas. Put a number or two in, get a number out. Easy, right? Some formulas use constants, with the most famous and well-known arguably being pi. Want to know a circle's area? Take its radius, square it, and then multiply it by this magic value, and you get its area. But where does this number even come from? It's not so simple as just rearranging one of our original equations and plugging in some numbers, as we can't know the numbers to plug in the first place without already knowing pi, which is what we're trying to calculate. Mathematicians have used different methods for years to approximate pi to the highest degree of accuracy possible, such as Archimedes' principle of Lumi's formulas. But I'm going to be using my own, Minecraft chickens. Minecraft chickens have two properties that we're going to be used to calculate pi. They constantly move around in a uniformly random way, which is a fancy way of saying that they're just as likely to move from one block to another than any other block. And secondly, they lay eggs every five minutes or so, which leaves a mark on where they've been. Now, abstracting our view away from Minecraft, we're going to use a technique which is an instance of a Monte Carlo simulation. This says that if we take an area with a known shape and plot a large quantity of random points within it, if we then have another shape within this one, let's say a triangle, we can estimate the triangle's area by like the quantity of points that happen to fall within it compared to the total amount of points plotted. Simply taking this fraction and multiplying it by the squared's area will give us our predicted area. Now this is perfect for us as we can place a ton of chickens into a square, and as they randomly move and lay eggs, they're effectively picking random points within the square. If our chicken happens to leave an egg within our circle, its hoppers can pick them up and transport them to one set of chests, otherwise it'll be led to a different set of chests. After letting our simulation run for a few hours, my results show that the chickens laid a total of 7,037 eggs, and 5,833 of them happened to fall within our circle's radius. As we know the area of our outer square multiplied by our circle's area percentage gives us our final piece of a puzzle, our circle's predicted area. Now going back to the circle area equation, we know our area is pi r squared, but here, pi isn't a constant, it's an unknown value that we're calculating. So rearranging the pi, we get pi equals area over r squared, and plugging in our values gives our approximate value of pi, 3.32 which seeming as it comes for a bunch of chickens with a very loose definition of whether an egg is laid within the circle or not, I don't think it's half bad. If you reach the end of this video, you're probably a nerd, so why not subscribe and check out another one? Click it.